I told you the appendages of the uterus are the uterine tubes and the ovary. I have a uh, video on the uterine tube. Uh, you know the different parts of the uterine tube and its importance. And now I will tell you the other appendage is the ovary. The ovary is the female genital organ. It is the gonad of the female. Male gonad is the uh, testis. I have an another video on testis. I think you have seen it. Uh, today I will some, uh, tell you something about the uh, female gonad that is ovary. The ovary it is uh, present behind the uh, mesometrium I told you and it is connected to the posterior layer of the uh, broad ligament by the uh, mesoverium or called the mesentery of the ovary. Then which one is the ovary? You see this specimen here. This is ovary of this side. This is ovary of this side. It is cut open. So this is the ovary of both sides. And this ovary is much smaller than the testis. So what are the length, breadth and thickness of the ovary? The length of the ovary is about 3 centimeter and wide is about 2 centimeter and the thickness is about 1 centimeter. So very easy to remember 3 then 2 then 1 length, white and thickness. But it is smaller before menarche and also after menopause. So during reproductive life the measurement is like this 3 to 1 but before puberty then before menarche when the menstruation yet not started and after menopause the size of the ovary much smaller and smaller and after menopause when the age advances this ovary becomes so smaller it looks like a fibrous tissue or nodules of fibrous tissue or fibrous nodule. Then what are the parts of the ovary? There are two ends or two poles, one is upper pole, one is lower pole, two poles. Then two borders, what are the borders? One is anterior border, one is posterior border. Then two surfaces, one is lateral surface, one is medial surface. So there are two pores, two borders, anterior, posterior and two surfaces. Among the two poles, the upper pole, it is related to the uterine tube. This is uterine tube. So it is called the tubal pole. But the lower pole, it is attached with the uterus by the ligament of ovary. So it is this pole called the uterine pole. So tubal pole above and uterine pole below. It is more or less vertically placed or to some extent obliquely oriented like this. So this is the ovary. Then where is the situation of the ovary? It is situated in the ovarian fossa on the lateral valve wall. Then the question will be asked what are the boundaries of the ovarian fossa? Above and in front that means here is the obliterated umbilical artery. Above is the external iliac vein here. Behind is the ureter and the internal iliac vessels. And lateral wall of pelvis forms the floor where you will get the parietal peritoneum, deep to which you will get the optoder nerve and also the optoder vessels. So one important question is sometimes asked if disease occurs, which nerve is usually involved? And that nerve is the optoder nerve because this nerve lies on the floor of the ovarian fossa. So the lateral surface of the ovary related to the ovarian fossa where you will get the floor or the content of this floor is the optoder nerve. So optoder nerve is if it is affected, this nerve supplies the different muscles of the uh, lower limb, particularly the adductor group of muscles for the hip joint. So that muscles will be affected. So movement of the hip joint may be affected. Another frequently asked applied question is why a disease in the ovary or inflammation in the ovary may produce pain in the hip joint and also in the knee joint. The answer is very simple. You know the optoder nerve lies on the lateral wall of the ovarian fossa. 
So any disease in the ovary or inflammation may irritate the optoder nerve by which the nerve supplying the hip joint and knee joint may produce pain in the both the joints because the anterior division of the optoder nerve supplies the hip joint and the posterior division of optoder nerve supplies the knee joint. So both the joints are supplied by the optoder nerve. So the pain is a refer pain from the ovarian fossa which affects the optoder nerve from the ovarian disease and the pain is referred to both hip joint and knee joint. So both the applied questions are very important from the point of examination. The main blood supply ovary is the ovarian artery which passes through the mesovarium which is called the hilum to the ovary and here is the hilum is nothing but the mesovarium through which the mesentery or the posterior layer of the broad ligament it comes to the anterior border and the ovarian vessels passes through the uh, mesovarium. So that's all uh, for the female gonad that is ovary.